Greetings, welcome to a new episode of Real City Inspiration. In this series we take a look at layouts from cities in real life and try to adapt them to SimCity. Today we're going to be looking at the city of Canberra. Canberra happens to be the capital city of Australia and it has a unique uh, road layout based on an hexagon. Creating an hexagon in SimCity with a road tool was a bit of a challenge, but uh, with the help of SAD we managed to create one, uh, one perfect hexagon using overlapping circles. Before we get started, I have uh, some uh, comments and notes that I want to share with you. In the previous video, some of you asked me to show the development of the road layout on camera. If you're one of those people, you're in luck because the creation of the city was recorded during a live stream that I did two weeks ago. So you can watch entire two hours of uninterrupted road building on Twitch and the link is included in the description of this video. Another thing uh, that happened during that live streaming is that the fans in the chat room actually name the city Fambora, so that's why it has this name. And finally, another interesting fact about this video is that it's my first video shot entirely in full resolution, so you can uh, watch this on YouTube in its original quality at 2560 by 1440 pixels. Of course, you're gonna need a pretty fast internet for you to be able to process this, but if you do, you're in for a treat. Now, let's go take a look at the city and let's take it from there. So here you can see the basic road layout uh, of the city. Uh, just a quick note, the what you see here uh, with all the traffic already on the streets and the service buildings and also the zoning, um, it's because um, I already started the simulation of the city and had to uh, delete some of the buildings because I had some problems with the recording. So all the traffic, it's there already, or some of all the traffic is there, but, uh, and all the service buildings are there as well. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the city again from scratch, but um, uh, let, let me show you real quick what the, what the uh, infrastructure of the city looks like bit by bit. Now, before I start with that, I wanna quickly comment on some changes that I did between uh, the moment I did the live stream where I laid out the entire all, all the roads actually and um, at this point where uh, the city is ready for simulation uh, one of the changes that I did is I, I added a tunnel here to here so I could put the city hall in this spot which I think it's a prime spot for city hall building like that and like that and uh, what else? Oh yes, I extended this road and added a, added a curve. So this whole area now belongs to the a community college. In fact, I think this is missing a bus stop. So I'm gonna plop that one right now and get rid of this one, which was the old position of uh, the community college. Also, I plop the sign here. So basically this whole area could be used as a campus for uh, the community college. Now we have uh, police and uh, fire. We have a bunch of park and rides here, here by the train station. And uh, there was one more. I think there was one more. Actually, we can look at this real quick. So we have one, two, and uh, that's it. We only have two. Oh, three. There we go. I thought I had another one. This is another park and ride. It's being used pretty much as you can see. But you, you'll you'll see in a minute once the city is fully developed. We have the clinic. We have uh, parks. We have plenty of parks. Let me show you all of the parks that we have. They're all congregated around the central area. And if you look at the land value, you see that it's mostly, the center is mostly medium, um, medium wealth. And the outskirts are pretty much uh, low wealth so that's pretty much how the buildings are going to turn up and what else uh, we have a bus uh, shuttle bus stop here and uh, some hidden parks for for the low wealth seams with some trees on on them and the, of course the train station All right, so that being said, let's uh, let's start the simulation and see how this uh, you know grows back again. So this is turtle speed. Let's go to llama speed, and 
Now let's go to Cheetah Speed. So this is it, this is the final result uh, after a couple of cycles of simulation. The city of, uh, the city of Bambara, it's, uh, it's pretty much a small town, not really a city. 24,000 Sims live here. And um, let, me show you, let me show you some metrics, let's bring up the data layers here. Uh, in terms of density, we're doing pretty well. This is the maximum density. Like I said, this is a small town and the actual city of Canberra has uh, smaller buildings, uh, not very tall. And uh, the reason why this is, is because most of the roads are medium density, like you can see here. There are a few exceptions. One by the industrial zone, just to be able to bring uh, bigger factories that will house more jobs in a smaller area. Yeah, honking, honking. Huh. And uh, also here, this is more of an arbitrary decision. Uh, since the road automatically generated by the train station is high density, I figured uh, I would extend the high density road up to this intersection. Uh, that means that these buildings are pretty tall. 
but not really skyscrapers or anything. If you look at the skyline, you'll see that the buildings are pretty much not very tall. The commercial businesses, uh, this, these are medium density and they're still pretty tall. And if you compare them to this, ones are not that much different from one another. And um, traffic uh, is not the best. I can um, I can say that. I mean, we have some red zones here, some red zones there. I don't know why. Oh yeah, because there's a traffic light here. Um, but it flows. Uh, let me show you real quick uh, mass transit. Mass transit, the average wait is 42 minutes, which is uh, it's quite a bit. I mean, it's still green, so and it's moving 5,700 sims a, a day or riders a day. So it could be worse, but uh, the city works. Let me show you some other variables. Education. Pretty much the entire city is uh, educated. How many hats do we have? We have five hats. There we go. Tech level, of course, is uh, limited by community college, which only gets up to one tech level. With the university, that's get, that gets increased to two and three. And uh, tech level, as you can see here, Tech level nine. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Are these two different factories? I don't understand. Anyways, uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Well, th let's go with the basics. Garbage. Garbage is being collected from another city. We have um, uh, garbage and recycle bins being collected from another city in the neighborhood. Uh, this one in the corner. Uh, what else do we have here? Well, fire. It's pretty good. Health, perfect. Crime is uh, has some crime here, but uh, overall it's pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, we're not even close to being full. Also, the city is pretty much educated, so crime is really not that big of a deal, as you can see. And uh, I'll just show you transportation, so the average weight is not too crazy. And uh, that's pretty much it. Happiness. Yeah, this is the final and most important metric. The city has an approval rating of 97%. So that's uh, pretty high. And we're making a profit. But I also lower the taxes to 8% on all classes. On all uh, classes and densities. So, um, I'm sorry, on all classes, not all densities. And uh, it's pretty good. Uh, we could be making even more money. We can raise this to... 10% and still be bringing in uh, quite a bit of money but this works makes uh, the sims happy and the uh, businesses uh, more profitable so in terms of finding a balance uh, it's pretty good and um, the only problem that the city has is the available job it still has a lot of available jobs that should be fulfilled from cities in the region but I'm guessing the entrance problem with uh, all this traffic. Let's see, let's turn this on. There we go. Well, these are mostly shoppers and we have some workers trying to get in. Heading home for a long day's work. Well, why are you making a turn here? Oh, you're working somewhere else? Uh, let's see. We have 150 workers commuting out, so, uh, and only 20 commuting in. Yeah, this is the, the problem. Not a whole lot that I can do about this. It's region play and I don't have a lot of control. I'm guessing that after a couple of cycles these sims will choose closer um, jobs instead of just driving to whatever cities are in the distance. That's lacrosse back there and this is a, just a dummy city I created for the purpose of this uh, video. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, happiness and approval rating is pretty high. Let's pause this for a minute and exit the data layer. Just want to show you real quick what the city looks like in general. So um, yeah, I hope you, you find something interesting in, uh, uh, on this episode and you know try to apply some of these patterns to your own cities. You don't have to copy this exciting layout and uh, like I said, we're only getting inspired by cities in real life. So yeah. It's always a good idea to be creative and, and do your own things. And uh, I would love to see some of those. So if you if you get inspired by this and, and get some uh, screenshots going, do please send me in a message on Facebook or on Twitter or even on Facebook. 
uh, with the links to it. Um, you should also post them on Reddit, why not? Uh, people like uh, watching uh, or looking at screenshots from other people. They usually get a lot of upvotes, so you should go for that. And um, yeah, well, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you like this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That, you know, helps me create content that everyone can enjoy. I also started Twitch. Uh, I'm sorry. I also started streaming a couple of days ago on Twitch. So uh, my Twitch account should be appearing on the screen right now. And uh, you can follow me there. And you can also follow me on Twitter. And that being said, uh, again, I want to thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.